for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, Mr. Tenacious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Good, a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have another capacity crowd on hand as usual for the UFC's annual stop here. The fans in England love sport. They love competition and they show up and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show when you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if Leon Edwards is anywhere. Oh man, let me tell you something. Leon Edwards is the man around here. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Slips to avoid the run. Nice strike to the midsection glances. Fire, fire, fire. 
Well, missed on that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Chor. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Rip the body there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a really good tall. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Bleeding from his cheek now. Big Paul punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, a huge block there. with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Right punches there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Dig and kick. Punch over the top. Just miss with that right hand. And they separate. to these big leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Checks that leg kick. Nice strike. And they separate. Just misses with the straight right. Nice land. land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Clean left punch followed by the right. Nice punch there. Right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. The slip, and then the counter by 
short. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch there. How about that shin? Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's the been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his... Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Whoa! Big leg kick land. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Ooh, what a punch. Him with a flush left. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Misses again with a right punch. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Gotta go chase that finish down now. And they separate. Oh, oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Choi's got the full mouth. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly. Oh. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout.
So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy tonight. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. The 